this same period of time when these breakthroughs were taking place, we were scouring, my staff and myself were scouring the libraries in the Phoenix area trying to find if anything like this had ever happened on the globe before, and if so, what we could learn from it. We ran across a book written by an individual, uh, an educator in the United States here by the name of Dr. Verl McBride. Dr. McBride taught at a small college in Missouri. He um, actually, uh, in 1959, had developed a system similar to what we were doing, still called it speed reading, as we did in those days also, but had actually taken uh, young teenage children over 100,000 words a minute demonstrated it on live television on NBC, was written up in uh, all the Chicago papers, and had also um, uh, was on Paul Harvey's show several times. Got a lot of publicity. And being an educator, he tried to take it to the educational community, which is where it really belongs, in schools. And, of course, it was way before its time, and he was literally uh, chastised in every way you could imagine, and finally uh, left uh, alone the educational community as far as trying to get this incorporated. But he did write a book, and it was called, I think, uh, a beautiful title, Damn the School System, Full Speed Ahead. <laughs> we found this book in the Arizona State University Library. And there aren't too many copies out there, but uh, in that book, Dr. McBride mentioned a man by the name of Georgi Lozanov, Bulgarian scientist who developed what we call in this country super learning, which by the way isn't anything like what Lozanov deals with in Eastern Europe. And also a man by the name of Dr. Herbert Otto. Now, Dr. Otto, for years, he's now deceased, died in 1980, but Dr. Otto for years ran the foundation for the advancement of human potential in La Jolla, California. And he had a very interesting job, to say the least. He literally, literally traveled the globe, either verifying or discounting advancements in human potential in a variety of different things, and published results on them and so on down the line. Well, I contacted Dr. Otto by phone and uh, told him of what was taking place in Phoenix, what we had seen happening, what was going on. And his initial remark to me was, oh my God, you found it. I didn't really realize what that meant at that time. As a matter of fact, my question back to him was, what have I found? And he said, well, you found one of the most powerful forces on the face of the earth. I would rival it to any hydrogen bomb. And the reason I say that to you is that if this is used on a mass basis, it can literally change societies almost overnight. He also uh, told me that it was every bit as powerful a tool negatively as it was positively. And he wanted to know a little bit more about me, the person that had been entrusted.